here's how to make an HD video in CapCut. Now, if you're in CapCut and you wanted to increase the quality and make it look HD or high definition, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's open up CapCut here, tap on new project, and I'm just gonna choose a random video and hit add. Now, there are a couple different things I can do to this video. Let's tap on the video and we're gonna scroll over, keep on scrolling over until we get to adjust and tap on that. Now on here, there are a couple different things, but if you scroll over, you can tap on sharpen and let's bump this up because ultimately sharpening up that video will make it look more HD quality. So I'm gonna play with this to see where it looks good. Let's sharpen that all the way up to the very top and hit okay. Now, another thing that we're gonna do is scroll all the way over here and hit the back button and we're gonna tap on effects. Now let's tap on video effects and there are a couple of things. One is the sharpen on here. Let's hit search and there are a couple of different things. I like this smart sharpen and let's hit adjust because we want to adjust a few things. Let's bump down this filter and bump down the sharpening a bit and the range a bit. So you can basically play with this to see what you like and don't like in this specific video. And I'm gonna bump this blur all the way down. Now that you've done that, you can do another one that says soft and hit search. Now, where is it? Let's tap on soft and we're gonna add this, but we're going to basically adjust whether we want this soft to be full. So on here, you can see this main is soft. Oh, it got rid of the other one. So let's, on top of that, just go back, hit video edits. And then on here, we'll do sharpen again. Go there, smart sharpen, and we'll adjust that specifically. So basically what we're doing is we're having these two different filters on top of each other and let's hit cancel and the check mark and now you can see it looks a lot more crisp and clear let me basically pull these over so that you'll see what it looked like before i did add that sharpening in there but you can see it really makes everything pop out and kind of has that hdr or high dynamic range look and feel to it. So it basically controls all of that stuff. And then you just hit export at the top right if you wanted to share that. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.